I think our story is a quintessential American story. What I mean by that is that uh, this is a story of people who start off with not very much in the way of material resources. I think our mother reflects the burden of so many uh, women in America who are working hard uh, to offer strong examples for their children and who are having to do so without the support of a life partner. When Brock was first born, she did have to go on food stamps, but in spite of her struggles, she never complained and never gave up. Her work offered a very fine example to us of service. She was a pioneer in microfinance, so she uh, led the movement, really, uh, to open up rural credit programs all over the world. She helped women and children gain some power in very often patriarchal societies. She was the most empathetic person I know, and she encouraged that in Barack, I think, and she is the one who gave him his ability to connect with so many people. She loved this world and left it too soon. After a year's worth of treatments, uh, our mother finally succumbed to ovarian and uterine cancer, which is one of the reasons Barack has been such a strong advocate for Johanna's Law and for expanding funding for things like mammograms. He knows all too well the tragedy of losing uh, someone far too early. But we also knew that uh, our mother had given us so much that was uh, beautiful and so much that was necessary to steady us in this time. And Brock was an amazing brother. He really helped me to heal a great deal after our mother's death. He took me traveling and reminded me that the world was still large and still beautiful and there was still much to be done.